I film everything on this channel using my iPhone. So when it comes to being able to create the best content possible, having just picked up the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'm always on the lookout for new accessories that will improve the production quality of my videos. Hello, this is Simplist, and in today's video, I will be giving you my review and unboxing of the DJI Osmo 5 or the DJI OM5. So first on with the unboxing, we have the outer box which showcases the DJI Osmo 5 or OM5 on the front, some featured product photos on the side, standard features on the back, and then finally the DJI logo on the other side. Removing the cellophane, we have this release tab on the side which will open the box. After opening the box, we have some installation instructions on the inside of the front cover. And then onto the contents, we are welcome with this card sleeve which reads Master Every Shot. And inside of this sleeve, we have various bits of warranty information and a quick start guide. Putting that to one side, we have the DJI Osmo 5 itself, looking really compact. We then have the tripod stand with a threaded screw on the top, so you could actually use this with other devices if you wish. After that, we have a phone extension, which will basically pad out the space between the gimbal grip and your phone if you're using a slightly smaller device. We then have an included USB Type-A to USB Type-C charging cable. Moving on, we have a DJI branded wrist strap to keep the gimbal more secure. And then we have a magnetic phone mount with the DJI branding across the back. This also includes a label which indicates which way the camera should be facing when placed inside the mount. And then finally, we have a DJI carry pouch, which is always a nice addition. So starting with the design, if you've owned any sort of DJI Osmo before, you'll realize the design hasn't changed too much from last year. The DJI Osmo 5 still relies on this fold-up design, which has always worked really well across the Osmo range. However, you can see slight variations in terms of grip and button layout, which we will cover shortly. Great thing about the DJI Osmo 5 this year is that DJI have managed to reduce the weight down to 290 grams, which is 30% lighter than last year's model, the DJI Osmo 4, so definitely a significant reduction overall. DJI have also managed to reduce the size of the Osmo 5, so this year we're looking at a 25% reduction when compared to the DJI Osmo 4. Looking at the grip, it feels extremely comfortable and I can't imagine it being much of a problem if using the Osmo 5 over extended periods of time, especially with the additional weight reduction. I definitely think with this sort of accessory, the smaller the better and the DJI Osmo 5 even fits comfortably in a jacket pocket. The DJI Osmo 5 comes in two different colours, the DJI Grey, which I have to say is lighter than last year compared to the DJI Osmo 4, and this is the colour that I chose and it looks really clean. We also have the introduction of a sunset white colour, which again I think is a great option if you're not a fan of the DJI Grey. So according to the specification, DJI have increased the capacity of the gimbal, stating that it can now handle 230 grams plus 60 grams. As mentioned earlier, I recently purchased an iPhone 13 Pro Max, so today I will be trying that out despite there being no official support for this model. It'll be interesting to see how the DJI Osmo 5 performs with a larger phone plus the case. So moving on to button layout, on the top left we have the power button which will allow you to check the battery status with a tap, or if you hold it down it will power on or off the DJI Osmo 5. If you tap the power button twice it will then put the DJI Osmo 5 into sleep mode, and then to go ahead and wake it up you can tap any other button. And then finally if you tap this button four times it will put the DJI Osmo 5 into FPV mode which means the camera will turn with your movements. Below the power button, we have the zoom toggle. This will allow you to zoom the camera in and out. Next, we have the joystick on the upper left, which will allow you to move the gimbal in the direction you want. The joystick also has a really tactile feeling, so it's great overall. In the top right, we have the recording or shutter button, which will allow you to start a video recording or of course take a photo. And then below that, we have the function button, which will, if you tap it once, switch from the front camera to the rear camera. And then if you go ahead and tap it twice, it will move the gimbal from portrait mode into landscape mode. Over on the back, we have the trigger. The trigger has a few different functions. The first function is that if you tap the trigger, the DJI Osmo 5 will turn on active tracking. And using the software, it will try and figure out the subject you wish to track. If you go ahead and tap the trigger again, this will turn off active tracking. The second function is that if you double tap the trigger, this will recenter the DJI Osmo 5 back into its original position, so that's really handy. Next, if you go ahead and double tap and then hold the trigger, 
This will activate sport mode if you wish to capture those faster moving shots. And then finally for the trigger, if you go ahead and hold the trigger, this will put the DJI Osmo 5 into lock mode and this will allow the camera to stay motionless and give you complete stabilisation on the camera. This year the DJI Osmo 5 has a built in extension stick which is a great addition. The extension stick measures up to 8.5 inches and it allows you to achieve that extra angle which you may not have been able to achieve with the older models. One of the main shots I've seen phone filmmakers create with the extension stick is a low shot across the floor which traditionally would be quite awkward and difficult to achieve. So a really nice addition overall although I'm not sure if I will get much use out of it personally. Like most Apple handsets these days they come with stabilisation built in so this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max on its own. And then in comparison here is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the DJI Osmo 5 and as you can see a significant difference in stabilisation. So to answer the question I was looking for, can the DJI Osmo 5 work with the iPhone 13 Pro Max? And it definitely does and that's including the Apple silicon case. The only thing I would say is that you do have to ensure you have the phone in the correct position. And this means having the holder slightly higher up on the phone if you're using it in portrait mode to counterbalance against the heavier top end with the iPhone 13 Pro Max camera system. However, apart from that, as you can see, the shots look amazing. So overall, I have to say the DJI Osmo 5 is a great accessory for any camera phone filmmaker. I believe DJI has adjusted and improved some of the great features of the DJI Osmo 4 and the stabilization is second to none. Thank you for watching until the end. If you leave me a comment down below saying Osmo 5, I'll make sure to give it a thumbs up and reply to your comment. If you enjoy tech related content, please subscribe to the channel and also drop a like on this video as it really does help me out. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.